Um, but look, they've got the, the Democratic Convention coming up. What can we expect from that? Well, it's, a, it's an effort to bring the party together, to unite a party that's been as, in many ways, as divided as the Republicans. Uh, in, on the Democratic side, it's the uh, supporters of Senator Sanders who represent the insurgent kind of socialist left wing of the party that wants to take over the party and who don't like Hillary Clinton. She has to appeal to them, bring them into the, into the fold, but then to the whole nation project an image of unity and, uh, and working together. Yeah. Um, how difficult is it for, for candidates on, on either side? Because once you are endorsed by the party, mm -hmm. th th I mean, there's an awful lot of party faithful in America who will just vote for the candidate that, that represents their party. Mm -hmm. Surely there can't be, <clears throat> or is there a lot of concern that, that you know, Democrats will not vote, will not turn out just because they, they don't like Hillary? Well, the, the, both parties have that fear. In the case of uh, Donald Trump, you do have a lot of Republicans, college-educated, uh, upper-middle-class, uh, suburban Republicans who see Trump as just, frankly, too crazy, demagogic, uh, uh, going away from the party's core platform of free markets and all of that. So uh, they're afraid of him. But on, on, the, on the, uh, the Democratic side, you have the same problem, where mm. uh, Hillary is seen as a sort of elitist Marie Antoinette character who sees herself as above the rules. It's still very negative, though, because uh, Hillary Clinton has said that, that you know, her, her running mate, her choice of running mate, is everything that Donald Trump isn't. Um, still personality-led rather than, you know, what he can bring as, as an individual rather than the comparisons with, with Trump and his campaign. Well, Tim Kaine, the, the senator that she tapped as her vice presidential candidate, is seen as someone from the centrist wing of the Democratic Party. Um, a responsible, normal character, and so Bo I think, you know, boring. Well, a boring, boring. boring. But he, yeah. he's described himself as boring, hasn't he? Which is which is interesting. He has, but I guess the contrast that the Democrats are trying to make is that we're boring, but we're competent, mm. and you can trust the nuclear codes with us, so to speak. And the implicit contrast is with the other side. Yes. Maybe they're boring and not in a good in a way we don't like. Yeah. Yeah. It is. You wonder where America is going to end up with this. Whoever wins, in that these are both two hugely unpopular figures. It is an ex it's extraordinary that two people that have got really bad personal ratings, mm -hmm. one of them is going to end up in the White House. So it's a, what a change from eight years ago. Absolutely, um, and I think a lot of people have said that uh, wouldn't it be preferable if the tickets on both sides could be switched so you have uh, Governor uh, uh, Pence on the, uh, on the Republican side as, the, as leading the ticket mm. and on the, on, the on the Democratic side you'd have Senator Kane. It's true, it's true. I mean, it's, it's an extraordinary election in so many ways. Just the fact that Donald Trump is now about to become the leader of the Republican Party and potentially the leader of the free world is astonishing in so many ways. But also Hillary, I mean, she's, as you said, she's incredibly unpopular. Well, how would you call it? Don't know if you're a gambling man. Oh, oh, oh. I still think Hillary's going to win. I still think that the country as a whole uh, can't abide a Donald Trump presidency just because he's so, he's so divisive. Mm. Um, I think as, as, a, as a good uh, conservative comedian put it, you know, she may be wrong about everything, but she's wrong within normal parameters. Right. And I think that's, I think a lot of people sense that. Mm. Right. Oh, well, Interesting. We shall see. Ezra, really good to see you. Thank yeah. you very Thank much. Thank you for indeed. having me. Tough question, It Jimmy. is. Oh.